Unsane, directed by Steven Soderbergh, follows Claire Foy's character Sawyer Valentini, who's dealing with a stalker that follows her every move in a desperate attempt to win her affection. Well, this, among other issues, causes Sawyer to see a psychiatrist, where she explains that she has experienced suicidal thoughts before, and she's eventually admitted against her will to a mental institution that wants to rehabilitate her. As Sawyer frantically attempts to escape the mental institution, she begins to wonder whether she's actually crazy or not, and whether her stalker had a role to play in all of this. Alright, so Unsane literally just crossed my radar last night. I had no idea what it was, so I watched the trailer for it and I was like, that does look kind of interesting. I'm kind of going to go and see that instead of Pacific Rim. So I think honestly I made a good choice because while I don't think Unsane is the best movie I've seen this year or anything, I do think it's one of the better ones I've seen this year. And if you enjoy really gripping and even uncomfortable thriller films, then this is the movie for you. I think gripping describes this film pretty well, but uncomfortable describes it even better. Because everything that happens in this movie is uncomfortable. From start to finish, Sora experiences a number of different things that'll just make your skin crawl because of how helpless you feel in Sawyer's shoes. Because the story is told from her perspective, so everything you're seeing from other characters in the mental institution and from the harsh surroundings themselves is from Sawyer's perspective. So you feel her helplessness, you feel that constant uncomfortable paranoia, and you feel her desperation. And that's how the film really grabs you emotionally, by putting you in her shoes and making you feel what she feels. Let me also just say that Claire Foy is absolutely outstanding in this movie. This is easily one of the best performances I've seen in 2018 thus far. She really does carry this film quite a bit. Her performance works so well because she beautifully plays a very flawed character, a character that you're not sure whether you want to root for or not because just enough doubt creeps into your mind as to her mental stability and overall morality as a human being. I think Claire Foy does a pretty fantastic job bringing a complex character to life here, a character that is so difficult to put your finger on that it just makes you feel uncertain about her situation and just her in general, basically the whole way through. Because the whole premise of the film is that Sawyer just gets involuntarily committed to this mental institution and she's being held there against her will. We don't really understand why, we don't understand how this could happen to an innocent person like Sawyer, but it's important to note that the story is kind of being pulled in two different directions, a tug of war so to speak. It's either about a woman who actually is crazy and is creating all these paranoid nightmares in her head and she actually belongs in this mental institution, or maybe it's about a woman who totally is sane and is thrown into this mental institution against her will. It's almost a story that's told in two halves because they make it a clear focus to tell the story from each point of view. Either she's crazy or she's not, for seemingly equal amounts of time. They inject just enough doubt and just enough ambiguity into what's really going on to make you feel so uncertain about anything you're seeing on screen. It's really quite brilliant in that specific way. Here's something you should definitely take note of as well. Unseen is an experimental film that's shot entirely on an iPhone, meaning that the cinematography is very limited in what it can offer because, well, it's shot on an iPhone. I do want to emphasize that this isn't a found footage film though. This isn't shot like Cloverfield or The Blair Witch Project where one of the characters is just filming the entire thing. It's shot handheld and stabilized similarly to how a standard setup would be to use a combination of both, except that it's just shot on an iPhone. It's generally wide angle, but it's also generally pretty effective. I did however find myself occasionally wishing that Steven Soderbergh had elected to capture this film more traditionally. I understand he had a vision and shooting it on an iPhone works thematically so to speak, but an iPhone is very limited in terms of its depth of field and focusing capabilities, and I just think this movie could have been even better if it had been filmed more traditionally. Because the visuals are generally pretty good, there's lots of dim lighting, really unsettling shots, and some other tight shots that really make things feel uncomfortable and unsettling, but I can't help but wonder how much more effective the film could have been at making you feel those things had the filmmakers not sort of tied one arm behind their back and limited their technical capabilities by shooting on an iPhone. This isn't to say the movie looks bad, it doesn't, it mostly looks pretty good, and most viewers will adjust to the cinematography and just the overall visual experience pretty quickly, but I will say that by shooting on an iPhone, you get a lot of shots that look almost identical with not much variation. Some people honestly won't care very much about this, but for me, I can't help but wonder if something better could have been achieved by going the more standard route. Ultimately though, this film is a real mind bender, and I could honestly tell it would be from the trailer, which is why I chose to see it over Pacific Rim. Because like I mentioned, as the viewer, you really don't know for sure whether Sawyer should actually be in this mental institution or not, whether she's crazy or not, because the film consistently sends you extremely mixed signals. On one hand, you'll feel like the hospital is gaslighting her, making her question her own sanity for nefarious purposes, and on the other hand, you'll look at some of her more dysfunctional behaviors and begin to wonder whether they're actually right about her or not. It makes the film so much more compelling because you're being sent conflicting messages that will make you begin to question whether you actually understand Sawyer as a character. When you're positioned to view Sawyer as if she belongs to the mental institution, you're being sent constant messages that she does. And in these moments, Unsane reminded me a lot of Requiem for a Dream. 
It tries to mimic what it feels like to live with some sort of mental illness, like the one Sawyer is accused of having. Everything feels frantic. You begin to question your own sanity. There's lots of very disturbing and unsettling tight shots that make things feel dark and ominous from a technical perspective. There's a lot of commentary here about mental illness as a whole, and even the diagnose of mental illness, which is honestly some really compelling stuff. So one final note for you guys here. I think there's a couple different ways you can interpret the events of this film, and no matter which way you go, you'll probably have a solid argument to back you up. However, I sort of rationalize everything to myself in one way, and to me, if you were to go the other way, there are some pretty big plot holes. And it wasn't until I left the theater that I started to honestly piece everything together. And as I've always said, sometimes ambiguity works very well, sometimes it doesn't, sometimes in between. This is one of those in-between cases. Here I could absolutely see people getting a little frustrated with the film's hesitation to pick a side, at least until the end. Sometimes it feels like you're getting jerked back and forth a little too much, and it does work for the most part, but sometimes I could see it being a little frustrating. But overall, I thought Unsane was a very well done film, and if you enjoy thrillers that keep you on the edge of your seat and also make you think at the same time, then this is probably the movie for you. As for the pros cons though, I thought Unsane delivered a compelling and gripping story, excellent acting from its lead, lots of great commentary on mental illness and treatment, and lots of thought provoking ambiguity. As for the cons, I do think the iPhone factor hurts the film technically and caps its immersive ups side, but I say that's about it honestly. I'm going to give Unsane an 8.5 out of 10 and definitely recommend you check it out if you're looking for a thought provoking thriller. If so, I think you'll really enjoy this one. So did you guys see Unsane yet? What did you think of it? And if not, let me know why not. And also let me know your most anticipated film of 2018 coming up. Still Infinity War for me honestly, which we're very close to actually. Either way, this is Wolf Oxification signing off. See you in the next review.